stadium looking. Oh. I mean, that is an incredible strike from Jay Rodriguez. But it just wasn't their day in front of goal, unfortunately. But it wasn't a terrible performance from them. Um, just didn't quite get the look when they needed it. No, no they didn't. Um, let's have a little look at the, the bottom of the table, just briefly to see how you think things stand. I mean, it's... I mean, Everton are in down there. Leeds as well struggling. It's, it's, it could be tight, couldn't it? Burnley realistically yeah. look like perhaps the one that might get out. Yeah. Watford and Norwich are gone for me. Yeah. Um, and then it's one from the other three, which I suspect will be Burnley. Yeah, Burnley, I think, could possibly get out. OK, Jermaine, thank you very much, Alan. Thank you too. Uh, before we go, though, let's have a look at the Premier League table. Liverpool have cut Manchester City's lead at the top to just three points. Manchester United are in the top four after their victory over Spurs, who remain in seventh. Uh, Burnley stay in the bottom three after defeat to Brentford. We've just seen Thomas Frank's side have now reached the 30-point mark to stay 15th. Brighton had a chance to move into the top half, but end the day in 13th. Let's see what the Sunday papers have to say. The Sun focus on Cristiano Ronaldo and his extraordinary performance against Spurs, calling him the goal-scoring GOAT. And uh, Tooch and Go, say the Sunday Express, as they claim Thomas Tuchel's future at Chelsea is in doubt after sanctions placed on the club's owner, Roman Abramovich. So, a record 807th career goal, 59th hat-trick. There's not much more he can do, Ron, Ron, Ron. Bye. <laughs>